Hi everyone, this is Connie and I am here with the top level of my lipstick tower. This is number five video and I will link all the others down below. If you are new here, please hit that red subscribe button and join our family and uh, hit that notification bell right beside it so you'll get notified of every future video that I do. And I hope you like these videos. Um, there are quite a few lipsticks in this tower are on the top. This is a 64 lipstick tower. I have got more lipsticks than that. As you can see, I have them pretty crowded into this top layer. I have um, some, some have one in them, some have two, and some even have three, the thinner ones. So I will be swatching each of these for you. So this is going to be a longer video. Let's get started. So let's get started with the Tarte lipsticks. And this is what they look like. Very pretty packaging, kind of like um, cardboard packaging. The first one is Angelic Nude. Next one is Coral Blossom, and that is in more of a green packaging. And like I said, I cannot tell if that's in focus or not, so I hope that you can see the names of these. I don't wear that one as often because it's a little bit orange for me, but I do wear it once in a while. So, And this one here is kind of a mix between the blue and the green, and it is Pink Poinsettia. There's the packaging there. And the writing is so small, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it either. There you go. Those are my three Tarte lipsticks there. Okay, so we're on to my two CoverGirl. And these are O oh Sugar, CoverGirl O oh Sugar. The first one is number six. Nope, sorry, number nine, Jelly Glaze. And these are more of a um, sheer lipstick formula, but I really like them. Like I said, CoverGirl has kind of stepped up their game the last couple of years. Um, I never, never cared for them, but I'm starting to a little bit more now. They're a vitamin-infused balm, is what they are. Number eight, Sprinkle Soup On. And they are balmy feeling. They're very sheer, but they're buildable. All right. So the next thing I want to do is... This one is Power of Love, Powerful Color Natural Lipstick. Tender Heart is the name of it. It's very pretty packaging. And a gorgeous color. Sorry, covering up the lipstick. So there's my cover girl and my Power of Love lipstick. Okay, so I am back with some e.l.f. double-ended lipsticks. And these are, um, I, I believe in a, uh, 
another video I had the, the Touch Of lipsticks, and I said those were my only ones. I was mistaken. I do have three more. And I love these. Okay. So, this is just called um, Need It Nudes. Let me see if I got that right. Okay, so I will go with the lighter color first. And I believe these are supposed to be like blended together, which I don't. I, I wear them separately. I'm not very good at blending those together. I don't know for sure how to do them. But I will do it like this. This is the darker color. Take this off. There we go. All right. Put them back together here. And find my other ones here. So this is... Um, I love Paris. And this is what that looks like. And I will start with the little bit brighter pink one. And that is very bright. And then the more blush, or the more uh, berry looking one. If I can get this right here. There we go. And then my last elf one is the best berries. And that is that. And I am going to start on this side. Oh, that's so pretty. And then it goes into kind of a red. All right, those are my elves. I will be right back. Okay, I am back, and I have got two NARS samples. This one is, I have no idea. See if it tells me on here. It's a satin lip pencil. That's all it really says. It says Recugen. I don't know if that's the name of it or what. Very, very pretty though. Um, I know one of these I got in a birthday. Um, deal. This one, that one says Ricogen too, so it's a satin lip pencil. It does not say the names on them, but that one's this one. And there's they're similar, and I've got a red one too in my uh, in my red drawer. They're very satiny for sure. All right. I don't know where this one fit in at. Okay, so let's go to... Um, this is a Lorac Lip Lux, and this is a sample. This is in Bordeaux. This is what it looks like. Very pretty, very high-end looking. And it feels very matte. Um, it's been a long time since I've worn this one. So, um, it is pretty dark. I 
All right, let's go with this. For the last one on this hand, let's go with this Tarte lipstick in Playful. And I just love their packaging. Kind of a wood grained. And this is really creamy. So there you go. These two are my NARS. This is my Lorac. And this is my Tarte. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my Benefit. They're real um, lipsticks. It says double the lip. Um, they're real. And this is Lusty Rose. It says Beyond Sexy Lipstick and Liner in One. And this, this one here I really like. And I don't know if you can really even see the, see the difference anymore, but there you can. So let's go with... <gasps> and it just broke. God darn it. Just have to be very careful with that one from now on. So you can't really tell the difference. I had that turned up too high. Darn it. The next one I'm picking up is Pink Thrills. And I'll just turn them sideways so you can kind of see. The difference there. This one here you can tell I haven't used a whole lot because it's still got the deal there. There you can tell. I'm hoping you can tell that because there's it's like two-toned. But when you use them after a little bit like you can tell with the Lusty Rose that I've used that quite a few times that um, they kind of blend together on the top, so it's not as noticeable. This one is Flame Game, and this is more orange, so um, I have actually never even worn this one, and so I'm not going to swatch it. I am going to pass this on to somebody. I've never even swatched it, you can tell. It's brand new. And I don't care for orange lipsticks. So I'm going to set that aside to put in my um, giveaway box. Revved Up Red is the next one. And that one I've worn a few times. You can kind of tell. But that's what that looks like. I'm going to try to do this a little different. Nope, you can't even really tell the difference because I've worn it a few times. So they kind of blend into each other after a while. Okay, I'll have to find another lipstick to put in there. Okay, so we're going to go on to this side here. And the first is a mini ColourPop. Lil, Lil Lippy, it says. Hoping you can see that. And this is in Thistle. Really cute. And a pretty color. But isn't that cute? That little size. <clears throat> All right, the next is a Buxom. Full on lipstick. Okay. Next two are melted. Um, they are the same color. This is a melted metal. 
and this is in peony. Melted metallic peony, it says. Pretty. And this one is just melted peony. So if I if I want a shiny, I can do one. If I don't want a shiny, I can do the other. And there's really a lot of difference in the color. Look at that. That's a lot of difference. So guys, that is my color pop, my buxom, my melted metallic peony, and my um, melted peony. Okay guys, I am back with my um, Revlon HD lipstick and this first color is in 760 HD Vineyard. They are in the prettiest packaging. And I love, love, love these lipsticks. These are actually some of my favorite drugstore. The next one is in 710 HD Desert. And the last one I have is in 705. HD Dawn. And we're going from lightest here to darkest. This is Dawn. This is Desert. And what was that first one? Vineyard. I recommend these highly. I really, really like them a lot. Everybody, this is the last lipsticks from my top, and this is Stila Longwear Lips Lip Color in Flushed. Very pretty. The next one is a ColourPop um, lippy stick, and this is a BeautyCon. That's the name, actually the name of it is BeautyCon. This was in one of the BeautyCon boxes, which I think they canceled already. Which you'd think that they would have tons and tons of high-end people to curate boxes, but... Um, the last few that they did, nobody knew who they were, and so they didn't last very long. Okay, so that was my color pop. The next one is a Kiko Cosmetic Color Click Lipstick in 05. And that's what it looks like. You just um, click the side and it pops out the end there. There you go. And my, my last lipstick is, um, tell you the truth, I don't know who this is. Got it in one of my boxes, I do believe. That is the name down on the bottom here. But I can't read it. I don't know who it's by. And it's uh, the color is 04... Yeah, it's in Chinese or something. Cannot read the rest of it. Very pretty lipstick, though. Oops, sorry. So there's my Stila. There's my ColourPop. There is my um, Kiko Cosmetics. And there is my 
unknown. <laughs> so that is all of my tower lipsticks. And I hope you enjoyed this series. And if you like this kind of stuff, please give me a like and I will do more. Thank you so much. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.